with evidence. This week, the psilocybin board for the Oregon Health Authority is releasing research on so-called magic mushrooms effectiveness on behavioral health conditions, including depression. Oregon residents voted to legalize the hallucinogenic substance this past November. Elise Haas has the latest on the new research. Elise. Over the last seven months, the Oregon Health Authority has been reviewing scientific studies to figure out how to use psilocybin safely here. And leaders at the Oregon Health Authority say that in recent research in controlled settings and clinical trials shows that psilocybin is really effective to alleviate major depressive disorder with lasting effects. There's also some research showing it alleviates anxiety, particularly anxiety that's associated with terminal illness. And the Health Protection Administrator told me there is now promising evidence showing that psilocybin could help treat addiction to substances like alcohol, tobacco, and opiates. It's a very ex exciting opportunity to be, to be a part of, um, to, to be a part of something that can alleviate the suffering of uh, many, many people, um, particularly in the state of Oregon. Uh, so it's, it's something that we do in public health. We, we want to better the health of, of Oregonians, and uh, this measure is just another tool to do that. Though he did stress that the research isn't fully complete yet, but he says that it's been positive so far. To be clear, this will not be available for recreational use. The Oregon Health Authority will be giving out the licenses to use psilocybin not until 2023, and they say that it'll be used in safe, controlled, and well-regulated settings that are successful in alleviating behavioral health conditions. Reporting live in Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. All right, thank you, Elise. And for more on stories like that one, you can download the Coin 6 News app. You will get uh, stories sent right to your phone. You can get it in the Apple or Google Play stores. Time now is 5.06. Let's get right back to meteorology.